it to switch it out with a cat. What up, people? It's Authentic Benny. We back with another video, man. And today, man, I'm tired as hell. I'm tired as hell, man. But we got to go, man. We got to get up out of here. We got to head to uh, Covington, Louisiana. Got to take the dogs in. Uh, one dog in. Uh, you know, got to get up progesterone levels tested. Make sure she good to go for the next breeding process. So right now I got them outside, you know, um, doing their thing, uh, using the restroom and everything. Jazz, Tig, and Stormy. About to go uh, get Jazz together. I'm slurring my words right now, man. Y'all got to bear with me. About to go get Jazz together so um, we can go ahead and shoot out there. Right now it's... Uh, Man, it's 5.45 a.m. 5.45 a.m. Still dark as hell outside. Um, but we got to get it. The grind don't stop. And mind you, I just got off the grind. But the grind don't stop, man. So I'm headed up there right now to go ahead and get this knocked out. But I wanted to go ahead and start this video to let y'all know, man, if y'all want to be... Um, a lot of people been hitting me up about uh, starting a kennel, pretty much. Um, but this is what it take. It takes non-stop grind. It takes being up all night checking on puppies. It takes getting off work and shooting straight to a whole nother city, driving two hours away, just because it's that time. You know, um, when a, when a dog is in heat, you pretty much got to act on it. At that time, no matter what you got going on, you got to drop everything and go. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, about to hit up there. And we're going to take y'all along for the whole process. Uh, I forgot to charge my car to 100% last night. Uh, well, yesterday, because I worked last night. So uh, I'm trying to get it. Get it a little 30-minute charge in the garage right now. And then we're going to shoot down there. And then I might go to the... Brand new supercharged station as in Metairie. Uh just in case I don't know. I, I think my battery will make it damn back, but just in case it don't, we'll get to see the new uh supercharged station in Metairie, Louisiana. So uh man, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna give me some hustle juice, get on this road. Y'all probably can tell by the look in my eyes that I'm tired as hell. So man, y'all pray for me. But like I said, the, the grind don't stop. If you wanna be great. You got to do what it takes to be great. So, with that being said, let's get it. So, y'all never even get a chance to see this room. But this is the dog's room right now. I'm trying to connect to, uh, you hear this echo because it is empty up in here. I got new kennels coming. It's going to fill up everything up in here. Everything going to be looking nice. But uh, I got them a TV up there and a nice camera right up top. Uh, just so whenever we have the litters and stuff, the people who actually reserve a puppy can tune in and see what their puppy is doing at any given time. So, uh, y'all make sure y'all stick around for that, man. I will be letting y'all know more about that, but the camera is watching the puppies at all times. Um, and no matter where I'm at, I can view them, make sure they good, make sure everything is good to go. But... Bring Tig and Stormy back in here, and uh, me and Jazz, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road, man. Let's go. All right, 
Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's go. 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 Come on, Stormy. Let's go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. All right, I had to come out here to the car. Got me a little towel to put down for jazz. And go ahead and turn that down. Don't be needing that. Uh, this is my AKC registration, but this is a 2021 calendar. Uh, I like to write down the day she went into heat and count down the day of the PG test and insemination and everything. Keep everything in the calendar. So that's why I got this calendar. But for now, I like to keep my floors clean up in there. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. This is where Jazz is going to be laying at on the whole trip up there, which is about an hour and a half, two hours. So make sure we keep everything clean, everything sanitary. And I really need me my damn truck, man. Coming soon. So this, this will get us, man. This will get us for now. Right now we got, oh, where we at? 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 Right now we got 79% which is plenty, 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 plenty to get up there. By the time we get there, probably be at like 60, 60, 55, 50, something like that percent. But that'll be pretty, plenty to get us there and back, so I ain't tripping at all. All right, Jazz, quit playing. I know you won't stay. I know you won't stay, Jazz, but you can't. Come on, come on. You ready? Let's go. Let's go, Jazz. Let's go, Jazzy. Let's go, Jazzy. Uh, I, I Stormy, you staying here. Come on, Jazzy. All right, Jazz, I know you ain't used to no leash. This seems foreign to you, but we gotta get it on the leash today, girl. Come on. Come on, let's get it. Let's go. Ooh, hustle juice. Gotta have that. All right. We good to go. I'm gonna open the door for the girl. Come on, get in. Get in, get in. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. All right, y'all, so just like that, we rolling, we rolling. Uh, the GPS saying we're gonna get there with 55% battery, which ain't bad at all. Ain't bad at all. 7.20 a.m. arrival. Sun kinda um, starting to come up a little bit, but um, it ain't gonna be a bad ride at all. Uh, Jazz just sitting there chilling like she always do. I don't never have no problem with her. If this was Tigger, Tigger would be jumping around like crazy. You probably can't see her because she's so dark, man. But uh, Tigger be jumping around like crazy. Can't stay still. That's just how Tigger do, you know. But uh, Jazz is the chill dog. She always just in her own zone. No problems, no issues at all. Um, this is the stressful part of the breeding process because you pretty much playing the waiting game. I'll be dropping Jazz off to get her progesterone levels checked. And, and I'll be boarding her. So they'll be checking them every single day. Pretty much, they'll be They'll be keeping her there the whole time, testing her levels, um, and they'll let me know when she's good to go for insemination. Now, on this particular breed, uh, we will we did source out to another uh, male, which is in California, you know. So uh, it is it, it it is very very very. Um, nerve-wracking bro I swear because everything got to line up properly her progesterone levels got to be on point um, we got to get her there to get tested on time you got to keep up with so many dates and this time you got to make sure the male owner is on board with the dates and everything stay in touch with them make sure they good to go it's just so much going on at this point in time to where it's crazy. That's why, I, like I showed you, I keep, I keep that uh, that calendar, keep the dates in line.
because if you don't, you can miss that window and it's over with from that point, man. Uh, and now you gotta wait all over again. Um, for the people who don't know or is new to this breeding game, a uh, dog usually, um, a female dog typically goes into heat only twice a year, man, only twice a year. So you gotta keep up with your particular dog's uh, dates to where they go into heat because you can't miss that window. You gotta know your dog body like it's yours. I swear, man, it's so much that go into this. So much. People think that this is just an easy process. Boom, 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 quick, get it done. No, man, it's a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of... You, you really got to have a calculated mindset when it comes to this thing, th these things. Um, let's say you get the dates right. You get everything in order, everything good to go. Okay, now you have puppies. That's not the end. Now you got to have that marketing mindset to sell these puppies. Now you got to know the different avenues to go to reach the people who want to buy the puppies. You know? Like I said, there's a whole lot to go into this. If you want to get into this business, you better make sure you know what you're doing, do your proper research. Uh, it's definitely not something you just hop into. You know, uh, we did years of research before we even thought about going into this business. So make sure you do your due diligence, do your proper research. And um, as always, right here on Authentic Benny, we're going to take you through the whole process and um, let you see the whole thing all the way through. But Jan's knocked out right now. She getting her sleep in. Um, like I said, we will test her levels today. She'll probably be there for a good week. They'll test her levels every single day. And when she's at the right level, we'll contact the stud owner and he'll ship the semen and they'll do the insemination from that, man. So, um, like I said, uh, y'all rocking the whole way through on this one. The whole way through, we're going through the whole process. Um, because I've been getting too many people hit my DM, you know, asking, telling me they want to get started in the breeding business and all this and all that. And I always refer them to the channel because we go through every step of the process on this channel. Uh, this is my first time um, outsourcing a stud, so we uh, we definitely got big, big hopes, and we're going to see where this thing takes us, man. Let's get it. All right, we in here. Got Jazz in here. She ready to go. She ready to go. She said, <laughs> you had me in this car for like an hour and a half, damn near two hours. Let me out of here. But uh, Chad's looking like a beast, man. Looking real structured. Um, <laughs> look at her. Look at her. We about to head in here and um, see what they talking about. See what it's looking like. And um, get her in here. I don't know if we gonna keep her here and board her, but we gonna get the progesterone uh, levels and a couple minutes, man. Let's go. She probably gotta use the bathroom. Oh, there we go, y'all. Um, we finally got her in. As you heard, uh, we don't have to um, wait around for the first levels or anything like that. I'll just keep her here and pay boarding every day until uh, we find out the exact number. So um, 
I guess we'll find out later today what his numbers are today and then so forth and so on. Uh, they'll let me know. I'll let Santana's owner know and then we'll go from there. So uh, it's looking good, man. So far, so good. Uh, as soon as she come back out, bring me the leash. I'm gonna head to the house, man. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, just like that, we headed back to the house. Um, got Jazz there. You know, we're getting the, um, we're getting the procedure done. They will be taking, checking her uh, PG levels. Uh, right now, they're gonna check her levels and then give me a phone call, let me know exactly where she at. And then, in return, they can like, give me a roundabout date on when she'll be at the right levels. So, basically, um, basically, we'll know the day before that she's ready, ready to go. And then in turn, I'll let the stud on her know that way he can get the, sh the get the semen shipped over, and they'll do the procedure right there. So um, that's a go, man. That's the first step to the next little. So if y'all want one of these authentic Frenchies, man, y'all make sure y'all hit my DM, authentic dot on Instagram. You know, cause uh, this little is definitely gonna be a fire, fire, fire little. So y'all don't want to miss this one at all. If you want to get started in this breeding business. Uh, just just know man do not go cheap don't try to go cheap man you try to go cheap the cheap route and and cut costs and cut money and all this you really cutting yourself in the end because uh ain't nothing cheap about this man like I could have waited until the 10th day and I also could have missed the, the the window that I had which would cost more money so that's why I decided to bring Jazz up here early and go ahead and pay that boarding fee per day. Per day. And then, every time they take a progesterone level, you gotta pay per test. When it comes time to do the insemination, you gotta pay for the insemination. Like, it costs some money, so, uh, just make sure you know what you're getting into before you get into this, do your research. Because it's a lot to go with this. A lot of the behind the scenes stuff y'all don't see. That's why I'm making these videos like this. Um, so y'all get with it. And look, I just missed my turn, man. Bruh, this country part of town, bruh. It ain't for me. <laughs> it ain't for me at all, man. And on top of that, I ain't no superchargers in no country town. <laughs> but uh, we gonna make it back home, man. Uh, I'm about to go ahead and concentrate on this road. That's gonna wrap this video up, man. We gonna pick it up. Um, we gonna pick this back up. Uh, when we get the phone call, I'll let y'all know exactly what we got going on, exactly what the next steps is on the next video. Uh, but that's gonna wrap this thing up, man. Right now we're waiting on the progesterone test to come back and I'm babbling right now. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go. I will be picking y'all up on the next video and giving y'all an update on her progesterone levels and the, and the next step in this whole breeding process. So y'all make sure y'all stick around for that content. Until the next time, man. Authentic Benny, I'm out. All right, y'all, made it back to the house. Finally, finally made it back. Y'all can probably see the tide in my eyes, man, but I'm so glad to be back, man. Only guy got me there and back, I'm telling you. But check this out. We made it back with. We made it back with. Oh, uh, if we could focus in. Boom. We made it back with 19% battery, man. 19%. Oh, that sound bad, but if you think about it as a cell phone, but I mean, truthfully speaking, that's about a good uh, 80 miles or something like that until E or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But that's gonna, probably going to take a, a few hours to charge up, but I ain't tripping anyway because I'm about to be out. I'm about to take me a shower and I'm about to be out completely. So, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. I'm done, bro.